Hi friends, can I see your quiet hello? So good to see all of you. Um, last week, my friend Molly was here and Molly was telling us about compliments. So I want you guys to show me with a quiet me too. If you practiced giving somebody a compliment last week. I see some of my friends out there. You did excellent job. If you didn't, that's okay. You can practice again this week. Now, my friend Oscar is here because Oscar was having a little bit of a hard time with a friend of his and he um, wanted to come and talk to you guys about something Principal Dinah taught him to help him when friends are being mean. So on the count of three, we're gonna wake him up. Ready? One, two, three. Oscar, wake up. Oscar, wake up. Oscar, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oscar, wake up. Oscar, wake up. Oscar, wake up. It's time for school. Hi, Oscar. Oh. Hello, Miss Emily. It's so nice to see you. Oh, hello, all my, my friends out there, all the boys and girls watching at home. Oh, it's so nice of you guys for tuning to our YouTube channel. Oh, it sure is, Oscar. Um, so I was just telling my friends um, before we woke you up about how you had a hard time with a friend the other day. Isn't that right? Oh, yeah, it really is, Miss Emily, because the other day, and um, my friend, Freddie, and um, he was not being very nice to me. I don't know what happened. Well, he was making fun of my little, my little skinny legs. And, and you know what? They are a little bit skinny, but it really hurt my feelings. What was he saying, Oscar? I'm sorry that that happened. Well, he was saying things like, Oscar, you can't run very far on those little skinny legs and, and, and just really mean things that hurt my feelings. And and Principal Dinah saw me. She saw me sitting up on, on the playground and she goes, Oscar, what's what's wrong? I can tell you're having a thumbs down feelings. And I said, oh, yeah, because, cause, well, I don't want to tell you because I don't want to tattle, Principal Dinah. Oh, well, that's important um, not to tattle, but... What did, what did Principal Dinah said? Well, she said, it's not tattling because I asked you what was wrong, Oscar. So I said, okay, well, Freddie was saying some mean things to me. Okay. And, and she goes, oh, you know what? I'm so sorry, Oscar. Sometimes that happens. And you know what? I want to teach you the three steps you take if somebody's being mean to you. Ooh, are you going to teach us? Yes. So she said the first step you take is stop. Ooh, I want everybody to put your hands out like a stop sign and say the word stop. Ready, go. Stop. Excellent. What does that mean, Oscar? Well, it means that, that if somebody's not being very nice to you, then you can say something like, please stop. I don't like that. Or, or, or she, Principal Dinah said that I could say something like, please stop, that hurts my feelings. Oh, please stop, that hurts my feelings. That way, the person knows um, that, it, that it hurts your feelings. Yeah, she said that would be a good idea because sometimes people, they say things and they're just trying to tease you a little bit and, and, and um, make you smile, but they don't realize that it hurts your feelings. So you got to tell them. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, so the first step we take is stop. Yep, stop. Okay, then what do we do? Well, you only go to the next step if the person keeps being mean to you after you tell them to stop. Oh, okay, so if you tell a friend, please stop, I don't like that, and they stop, then you don't have to do anything else? Well, yeah, because you solved your problem by yourself. Oh, okay, got it. So the second thing you do if somebody is being mean to you and, and they're not stopping when you ask to stop is you walk. Ooh, I want everyone to take their hand and make two fingers like Oscar. Say walk. Ready, go walk. 
What does that mean? Well, it means to walk away, Miss Emily, kind of like using your ignoring muscles. Oh, okay. So if you were on the playground and um, Freddie, you, you told Freddie to stop and he didn't stop, then you would just turn around and walk away from him. Yeah, exactly, Miss Emily. You just, you just ignore him. And so, and so sometimes that works. So sometimes you gotta try stop and that doesn't work. And then sometimes you gotta try walk and if that doesn't work, and he and and he or she and they keep on being mean to you, then that is when you go to the third step, which is to talk. Oh, everybody make their hand like Oscar ready go talk. Excellent. What does that mean? You go find a friend to talk to? No, Miss Emily, talk means that you can go talk to a grown-up about it. Oh, but I thought you said earlier that you didn't want to tattle. Well, you're right, Miss Emily, but Principal Dinah said that if you try solving the problem by yourself first and it didn't work, then you can talk to a grown-up. Oh, okay. So would you just go to the grown-up and say, Freddie's being mean to me. No, that would kind of be tattling, Miss Emily. You would say something like, um, Principal Dinah, um, I, I tried asking asking Freddie to, to stop and telling him that it was hurting my feelings when he said those things, but but he kept on doing it. And, and I tried walking away, but he followed me, so, so I need some help. Oh, okay. And then what, what would the adult do? Would they just um, send the, uh, the kid to the principal's office? No, no, no. Principal Dinah said, let me show you what happens. So she went over and she said, Freddie, um, my friend Oscar was telling me something and I thought that he should tell you. So um, I said, Freddie, it hurts my feelings when you, when you joke about my legs because I just, I'm really sensitive about them because I know not everybody has really skinny legs like me. And so I just, it makes me feel really sad. And then Freddie goes, oh, I'm so sorry, Oscar, why didn't you say so? I had no idea that, that it was hurting your feelings. Oh, so, so I know that you didn't use the, the stop and the walk this time, but the, the grown-up that you talk to when you go to the talk step, they're not going to get automatically get that person in trouble. They're just going to try and help you guys work it out. Yeah, exactly, Miss Emily. So, so the, the three steps I want you guys all out there to remember. Ready? It's stop, walk, and talk. Okay, got it. Stop, walk, talk. And you only go to talk if stop and walk don't work. Got it. So you try to stop, and if that doesn't work, and then you go to walk. And if that doesn't work, then you go to talk. Yeah, exactly, Miss Emily. Okay. I think we got it. You guys out there got it? Stop, walk, and talk. And if you are able to solve the problem by yourself because you guys are really great problem solvers, then, then it's excellent. And, and like I said, you don't even need to talk to a grown-up. Ooh. Because um, then if you told a grown-up after, then that would kind of be tattling, huh? Yeah, exactly, Miss Emily. Got it. Okay. Well, Tiny, um, sorry, Oscar, thank you for coming and um, talking to us about what Principal Dinah told you, taught you about your stop, walk, and talk. I'm sure that some of my friends out there might be able to use it. You, you know what? I used it on my brother the other day. Oh, it, it doesn't even have to be for just friends and stuff? Oh, no, no, no. I used it on my brother because and he was calling me a name that, I, that he knows I don't like. And so I said... You know I don't like it when you do that, so can you please stop? I'm really starting to get upset about it. Oh, did he stop? He did. Oh, phew, excellent, so it worked. Yeah, exactly. Great, and I'm sure that your mom and dad loved that you didn't have to go and tell them about your problem, right? Yeah, they should did, Miss Emily. They don't like being bothered with that kind of stuff. I understand. Um, well, thank you again for teaching us about the Stop, Walk, and Talk Oscar. Now, my friends, get your fingers out. We are going to sing goodbye to Oscar. Ready? One, two, three. Goodbye, Oscar. Goodbye, Oscar. Goodbye. Goodbye, Oscar. We're glad you came to school. Mm-hmm. 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 
See you next week. Can I see your quiet goodbyes, friends? <laughs>